So making this play long video on the song Dynamite has been one of the biggest challenges of any videos that I have made so far. And the only reason I'm doing it is for a very special student and your name is Serena because your teacher asked that I make this for you. All right, so let's get into this. I'm gonna play a little bit and then I'm gonna teach you about this song. We all know how it goes. the rest of the song goes but i want to teach you some of this all right i'm going to teach it to you so how do we get to even get this going in the first place right so um first we're going to start with this so just with your e very small motion very small motion at the tip now what i want you to see is how i'm Letting my fingers just fall on the instrument. I'm lightening the bow, but keeping it moving. All right, now we're gonna try this. Try that with me. <coughs> now fours. Also do ones just like so this is part of the key I think to getting this these rhythms going Let's see if we can play some of these phrases back all right now the main notes that i'm using are just e c sharp and b if you want to do it up here you can you can do it up there if you want i like the sound of it down here though okay so just see if you can play <laughs> some of these lines back to me all right mm. It's three in the morning. <laughs> Tricky. 
I'm gonna show you that other part. It goes like this. Starts on B. Two, three, one, two. So like that. See if you can play that with me. Again. That's pretty fun, right? All right, let's let's do some more of this. Let's go back to the verse. Um, just play after me. Mm. One, two, three. Try it again. <laughs> I'm slurring the bow because it's easier. Chorus. C 
secret about the notes that you can use on this, and then they're, they're called the E major pentatonic scale. So I'll show it to you real quick. It's five notes. E, F sharp, G sharp, B, and C sharp. And there's a trick that you can use, which is, first of all, don't just write those notes out from here. You can write those down on a little piece of staff paper for yourself, but you can also write those same notes everywhere that they fall in the instrument. And if you write them out just in a row, just like that, then you can look for little patterns. Maybe you can try some of those patterns after me. Let's just see how we can, how we can do with that. So for example, Try this rhythm. Da, 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 da. You can pick any two notes. So let's see if it works with these two notes. Pick two different notes. Let's take a different rhythm. Digga da ga. Digga da ga. And you can take one note. Two notes. Let's let's see. Let's go back to the to the to the verse. Go ahead. See if you can play the verse. and play the to the the, the, the bridge ready the chorus try the chorus again ready I'm going to give you this track so you can do more with it. You can do all these different things with it. And uh, Serena, I hope you let me know how this goes for you. And if there's other students out there and teachers, if you're enjoying this, let me know. Leave a like here. And I'm probably going to have another video where it shows how I made the loops. 
Uh, I made these loops just with my violin and my effects pedals and loop pedals. So there's no, no other parts. And I worked really hard on it. Um, so I'm going to give you the song so that you can just do what you want. I'm just going to let you know that it's going to start with the verse. And then I'm going to tell you when it goes to the chorus. But those same ideas are going to work most of the time. Ready? So this is for you. Here's the verse. One, two, ready, go. Verse again, and... Chorus. section. Chorus, they do this on the chorus, I think. Do that chorus with me. You got it. time to the chorus. All right, awesome. Just because it's 3.30 in the morning and my wife and my son are sleeping upstairs and I'm probably in trouble, but also because I got to get up in the morning tomorrow and drive to perform a concerto this weekend. I'm going to cut this video off. But again, thanks for connecting with me. And uh, Serena, congratulations on having a great teacher who really cares about you. And I hope you keep playing. To the rest of you, see you next time. And until then, happy practicing.